Hey, and welcome back. If you're new here, I am Kelsey from PoofyCheeks.com where I share hundreds of free cut files. I also share lots of crafts and tutorials. A lot of my blog is based on silhouette and cameo cutting machines, but I also work with lasers and I have a Glowforge and now I have the M1X tool. So I'm about to unbox this baby. It is huge. We're here on my dining room table. This is like a seven foot table. So I'm excited to see like how big this actually is. First, let's take a selfie. Okay, so a few times during this whole unboxing video, I'm going to kind of interrupt with some other things that I have learned since unboxing the machine. And also some things that I just failed to mention during the unboxing because I was busy unboxing. And one of the things about this machine that I really need you to know is that it's not just a laser cutting machine. It also has a blade and it has mats. So it can cut vinyl and other materials that you can cut with your Cricut or Silhouette cutting machine. Let's not waste any time here. I have an X-Acto knife ready just to cut all this tape. And it was delivered UPS yesterday. It's pretty heavy, not super heavy. And I'm really excited because I, over the last year and a half, we started using laser machines December of 2021. So it's been a little over a year with using laser machines. And one of the things we do the most with our current laser machine is cut leather, real leather. So can't wait to see what this baby does. Inside we have another box. So I'm gonna kind of tip it here so you can see what we have. There was this little strip and when I tried to take it out of the box, this flap just kind of came up, but gonna pull that strip, open up the box. Lots of awesome project ideas right here. So then we have these flaps and it's very, it's packed very well. Styrofoam and box pieces so that it's not touching anywhere. It was just kind of set in here super nice. So if we just kind of pull all this protective stuff out and then I'm going to move the box out of the way. Pretty big, but um, comparable to the other laser machine we have, pretty small. And I kind of like that because not all projects have to be big and huge. Right now you're looking at the back of the machine and I am going to turn this out around. Now this has a five watt laser. Um, so if you're comparing different wattages, this one is five watts. So when we're talking about lasers for at home use versus industrial use, you're going to want something between five and 50 watts. And so this is a five watt diode laser. And so what that means is because it is a lower wattage, you're going to have to make multiple passes on certain materials in order to cut all the way through them. So if you were doing a circle out of acrylic, you might have to do the pass three times around the circle versus a piece of cardboard where you're only gonna do one pass. So that's just an example, but that's what it means to have different wattages of a laser. Now, if you were working with a larger watt laser, you might be able to do the same material that takes three passes in one pass. And then this is the lid. Once we open that, wow, we are greeted with more styrofoam, but this is pretty genius because this is where they are keeping all of the instruction manuals. And this looks like maybe some test product that we can use to try the machine out with. Okay, so we get a dog tag, a metal dog tag, a piece of wood, basswood, and then it has um, the name of the product. I'm not sure, that is just some paper, some vinyl, and a piece of what looks like faux leather. 
Alrighty. This is the vent, the tube to vent it with, and the clamp for the vent, some hardware. We have the plug. I'm not sure what this is, but Heng Xing will find out. <laughs> and then we have some cutting blades because this machine cuts and lasers. So some different cutting blades we have here, replacement blades, right? And then this other big piece of styrofoam just pulls all the way out. Guess what's underneath? Some more stuff, <laughs> some more styrofoam. Um, and we have the prisms, which you're gonna use inside of the machine to kind of set your stuff up from the bottom. So we'll go over how all of this work once, works once we get it going. And then some X-Tool cutting masks. I also see the homing, like where the laser is. It's, it's another big piece of styrofoam. So I'm going to take the camera and kind of zoom in so you guys can see what the inside here's machine looks like. All right, so here's the inside of the machine. It's a little dark in there, but if you see, oh, don't mind the leather dye on my skin. Um, if you see over here, I'm trying to get it to kind of zoom. The X tool, this is where your laser and your blade are going to be. It's really important that you vent your machine. Um, a lot of materials do create quite a bit of smoke as well as smell that you don't want in your house. Inside, we can't see it, but we have a camera and that helps determine um, how far away the laser is from whatever you're deciding to cut. Then the X tool, this is the housing for the laser. This is what the bottom of that flooring looks like. I pulled my phone camera out because I feel like it's getting a little bit better light. And if we walk around the machine to the back, we have all the little spots, the power, um, and this is where we're gonna plug it in. So on the back of the machine, I'll show you in just a few seconds, um, is where the smoke vents out. And they have this, you're going, there's four holes already there, you're just gonna screw it in. And from that, we're going to run the hose and vent it out. So we'll do all that in just a second. Um, but funny story, a couple months ago, I think it was December, so it was cold out too, but we had our other laser machine running. We have it vented outside through the window and our neighbor came up and told my husband, oh, I think your house is on fire. No, we were just cutting wood. So the wood actually does create quite a bit of smoke when it's cutting and engraving. Um, and then leather, probably the second most smoke producing and acrylic, not so much smoke, but just a smell that you don't want to have floating around. It's not, it's like a melted metal smell. So not particularly something you want your house to smell like. So I'm going to get to work setting this up and we're going to vent it out the window. Before I plug it in, I want to put the blade into the housing. So you're actually going to use your fingers and this is just a magnetic piece. This is the housing for the blade. So it's gonna go right in there. And then you're gonna turn it around, put it back and the magnet will pick it back up and put it right back into place. So I'm just gonna put that back to feel it. There you go. And so, that's how easy it is to take in and out. But if there's a blade in there, you wanna be really careful that you're not getting your fingers. I'm trying to get it so you guys can see my fingers. Um, this whole thing, it has like a lubrication on it. So I'm gonna try not to touch that part again. But this is the blade. It had a rubber cap over the um, sharp part. So what you do is this is also magnetic. You're gonna take the non-blade side 
and just put it in there and the magnet holds it in place. So now if you want to take it out because the blade needs to be replaced, you're going to push down on this and pull it out. Sorry, it's I'm trying for it to not be blurry. There we go. So you're going to pull it down on this and then you can pull the blade out. But to put the blade back in, the magnet just picks it right up in there. This time I am taking all the cords that were provided and plugging the machine in to the wall. And then there's a power button on the back that you have to turn on. The button in the front of the machine that lights up, that is to let you know when to press start on cutting your material. And as you'll see, that button is going to be white and flashing, meaning it's not connected to the computer or to the internet at all. Something's happening in there though. I can barely hear the fan. I don't know if it gets louder as we cut, but it is super quiet and I will say I love that about it. I know it's not the best lighting because we have this really bright window out, but I wanted to show you guys um, this is like very well lit inside. At first I thought it was the sunlight on this side, but that is the actual lighting inside the machine. And it's super good lighting. So once you close the lid, you're ready to start cutting. Although we don't have anything in there yet. So let's get something in there and let's try this thing out. All right, so while the software is downloading, let's go over the safety tips because there's definitely some safety things that you need to know if you're gonna use a laser machine. And while I am familiar with them, um, it's always good to go over these again. Right from their booklet, general safety, read and get familiar with the safety precautions and procedures before using this machine. If the lid is lifting, it stops working in order to prevent harm. So as soon as you lift the lid, it's gonna stop what it's doing. You never wanna lift the lid. You're gonna ruin your project, number one. It probably is not gonna start back up where you left off. Um, if it does, that's amazing, but. <laughs> Do not engrave or cut any material that contains PVC or vinyl. Plastic, plastic materials are not recommended. Um, because they may contain chlorine and chloride, which would generate corrosive vapor that is extremely harmful to the human body and may cause damage to the machine. So all of those things I feel like are pretty self-explanatory. Um, you may not have known about the different materials thing, but it can be super dangerous to cut materials that are not made um, for these types of machine because it's just not properly ventilated. We are not working in a warehouse right now, right? <laughs> so now that it looks like it's downloaded, also remember you don't wanna pile up a bunch of paper, especially back around where the smoke is coming out. You just don't wanna have any risk of fire. And also this is an electronic device. So anything that you would not do with a hairdryer do not do with this machine either. Okay. Alrighty, so now we're ready to get this software installed. Initially, when you connect your machine to your computer, you do have to do it by USB, and then you can set up the Wi-Fi that way. Once the Wi-Fi is set up, unplug your USB connection, and you can use it Wi-Fi from then on out. So there's a lot of different stuff um, software-wise that I wanna show you guys, but I'm gonna do that all in a second video and show you how you can set up the Wi-Fi and how to create your first design and cut your first product or item inside your M1X tool. So super exciting. I've been testing a bunch of different materials and I'm really excited to share those cut settings with you because one thing I have noticed about this machine is that while it says it can cut all these different materials, they're not listed in their um, their drop down of materials that it can cut. So for example, I was really excited to see that it can cut and engrave leather, but they don't have a preset setting um, for the speed and the power to cut those inside the X tool. So I did have to do some experimenting to find out the best way and the best settings for those. And so I've figured that kind of out with 
other materials with this machine too. I also want to show you how it can cut with a blade because I think that's something pretty awesome.